Hello Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I'm so glad to have you guys here. Uh, so I got a little early Christmas present from my husband. I got these uh, elemental oracle cards. So we're going to use these guys today. I felt really drawn to them. I was really excited to use them. Uh, so we'll see what messages the Universal Spirit has for you guys using these cards. And I can feel them already starting to jump around in my hands. So I feel like the powers that be are organizing them just so. And this one did not want to let go. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So I have wind, which represents change. There's a change in the wind, change is coming in your life. I may be dealing with change right now or a transitional period. Uh, and things are things are uncertain, things are a bit up in the air, so to speak, is definitely the vibe that I'm getting from this card. Those words actually came into my mind and I can see them that up in the air. I do have home, earth. Um, so this is speaking of something that's going on at home, now, some sort of a change in your home life where things are feeling up in the air. So I don't know if you're moving, uh, maybe relationship changes and people are leaving the household or joining the household, but there's some sort of big change that's going on at home here, guys. Uh, I do have storms, which represents cleansing. So whatever this change is, uh, is going to be a bit rocky. It's going to be a little bit stormy. Uh, definitely having things very uncertain. Uh, it is tough to deal with. It's tough to live through. Uh, but it is going to bring about a cleansing. And it's going to bring about a new beginning. This healing, this, this freshness after a storm. This is what I'm feeling. Transformation and pressure. So whatever this is, this is, this is not something that you just jumped up and said, hey, I'm gonna make this change for myself. This is a change that you were pressured into. This is other forces at work that are pushing this change on you in your life, which would definitely make it a lot more stressful. Uh, so whether this was uh, somebody who's in your life who decided that um, they wanted to change the living situation, they wanted to change the nature of the relationship, or there are other outside forces that are coming into play that are forcing you to change your home life. Definitely a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. And I do have Hearth, which represents that comfort, that sense of being home, that safety. That is what you're missing right now with all of this change going on, all of this upheaval, uh, you're missing that. And, and this card popping up speaks to a need to be able to find that again, even within these changes, within this up in the air, to be able to find some way of bringing that stability for yourself. Um, I definitely feel it tied uh, to the earth card as well, which does speak of home. I feel solidity in that card. I feel safety in that card. And a lot of the other ones, I feel a lot of uncertainty, a lot of, like I said before, up in the air, stormy, rocky, rocky times, this pressure to change, um, this transformation uh, that was not completely of your own choosing. I do have the King of Wands here, so this King of Wands, he does represent a high energy. A Wands is indicative to a fire sign, so this might be speaking of your energy as well. He's somebody who has a lot of passion, a lot of ambition, a lot of drive. He can be somebody who has a hot temper as well, and this might tie into the change. This can speak to, to those fiery emotions as well that are going along with this change and that high pressure that's on you. I do have the Nine of Cups, so the Nine of Cups is a positive card, guys. It represents abundance, and Cups is all about emotion so this card is almost fulfillment of wishes this card is tied to the hearth card i look at this card and i get pulled to hearth so you will be moving in a direction where you can have this hearth card this this comfort this safety this stability you will be able to find this so whatever this change that you're going through where things are feeling really scary and uncertain it will change. Life is fluid and it's going to work you into this other stage of your life uh, where you're definitely feeling a lot more settled. I have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups represents a bright new future and leaving the past behind. So that's what it's speaking to this transition. This transition uh, that's that's going to be cleansing for you. I'm pulled back to that Storms card and the cleansing of it. So all of the emotions that go along with change uh, is going to actually wind up purging something from your life that's no longer serving you. That's why you're pushed into this because there's something in your life right now. It, it might be something, it might be someone, but whatever this is, it doesn't belong and it's not serving you. It will not get you to where you need to go. So all of these forces, all of these circumstances coming about are brought to be able to push this out of your life so that you can find this nine of cups or this nine of cups on this hearth card so that you can find your stability and your happiness. I have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords um, is either we're chilly 
when I look at her. So we're talking about emotionally chilly. This is somebody who's maybe emotionally detached. And this is maybe where this is coming from. And somebody decided to leave. Somebody decided their relationship was no longer working for them. They were not willing to emotionally invest and they're stepping away. And that's, that's the vibe that I'm getting from the Queen of Swords. She has a lot of different, uh, a lot of different aspects of her but those are the words that I see in my mind so that's what she means in this read and uh swords is indicative of an air sign so we might be talking about somebody who's a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius uh who represents this this queen of swords I also have the hanging man so he represents the only thing that could possibly hold you back from success in life is you so it's definitely these emotions it's it's the fear it's that uncertainty and allowing it to be overwhelming I do have the five of pentacles, which can represent going through a rough time financially out in the cold are the words that come into my mind. And this is speaking of this transition. So this is not, it may represent money, but it's not entirely representative of money. It also speaks to your emotional side, uh, feeling left out in the cold by this queen of swords. I have the Ten of Wands, which represents feeling overwhelmed or overburdened, and it's the uncertainty that's overwhelming. That's what's going on right now, because I see the word uncertainty in my mind when I look at the Ten of Wands. Uh, the Knight of Swords represents victory and truth and honesty, uh, being open, being true to yourself, uh, moving with integrity. This is what's going to bring you a win in this situation. I also have the Two of Swords, so indecision having trouble choosing and that's what's going on too is now you're having to make choices you're being pushed into making choices with this situation that's come upon you um the two of swords also speaks of taking a step back when you're feeling this way and looking at your situation from a different perspective to find the clarity that you want and like i said guys this is whatever this is that needs to leave your life uh, it, it's feeling really crazy it's feeling hectic it's feeling uh, pretty shitty but it's necessary to bring about what you really need in life and and what you really want, this this home, uh, this hearth, this comfort, this stability, and this safety, whoever, if somebody is leaving your life, this is someone who cannot give it to you, and you need to keep that in mind, and this will help you throughout this change as well, and whatever it is, uh, if it's not a someone, if it's a something that you're losing, again, you need to keep in mind the same thing, whatever this is, this is not meant to be in your life, and it will not get you to where you need to go in the long run, and have faith and trust in the universe that everything happens for a reason, this is all a critical part your path that's going to take you to this hearth card it's going to take you to that that stability and that safety that you are looking for in life all right guys that is what the card said to me today that was a little bit more uh, than a five minute read that's we're going to call this one a five ish minute read <laughs> thank you guys i hope you have a great rest of your day take care